part two, guys. I went to go get him more peanuts since I gave like literally half of his cup away. I feel bad, so I went to get more because he ate those peanuts. And look at Alvin just running around at my spot right now. Look at Alvin. Really, Alvin? Yeah, get back in there. Okay, you want more peanuts? Yeah. Alvin, you had enough. You had like half of his cup. Hey, yeah, baby. You have more. Since Alvin is going to be eating the ones that fall anyway, look at him. He's already on the side. See? Alvin's already on the side. Yeah, I feel like he didn't really enjoy his peanuts this morning. But it's okay, because I did. I gave, I fed like five chickmunks, one bunny, three blue jays, one red carnal. So it's okay. We know that it went to like, you know, it went to everybody. Now everybody, the whole forest is happy. Now him eating those peanuts, that would be like a good amount. He had like a nice, a little bit more than half of a cup. Right, Buck? Oh my God, my dog is going crazy. My dog came and see him. I think but my dog senses, like smells like the scent of him on me, maybe. Cause she never like she can't see him from where he's standing right now if he was standing all the way over there to the left yes here no but then again i also have a lot of bunnies and groundhogs that hang out close by like outside of my window so i think that's why my dog is barking too because she probably sees them all the animals seem to love us love this house I wonder why <laughs> But the one thing, thank God, like, the raccoons don't come on the daytime. Because I heard, like, you know, it's bad when they do. But I heard sometimes even the babies will try to come out because they'll be confused. But thank God they don't. Because that would kind of, like, freak me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But the raccoons do come at night. Because I do see them on the trail cam. His hair over there is messed up because he had a scratch. Oh no, I think that's not the scratch area. Because he had a scratch somewhere around that area, I remember, a couple of months ago. And then his hair grew funny. But I think now he has missing hair probably from himself, like licking himself all the time and grooming. Easy, you're so rough. He's getting like so rough sometimes. Like he looks at you and tries to bite you, like nibble you. No biting. No biting. It hurts too even though they don't have like canines like you know like dog teeth like they have like flat teeth it still hurts like i feel them i feel your teeth i see your teeth they're nice and white your teeth look nice and white buck you look healthy my big boy you're healthy his hair is just growing out funny because of the scratches he had on his back but besides that he looks beautiful right buck you're beautiful and he's gonna clean himself. And Alvin's over here collecting whatever's left, but Buck ate most of it. So, Alvin, you had enough. I gave you literally like almost a whole cup by him, that little thing had. Plus the corn, I sprinkled some corn on the ground too earlier. These chipmunks, they could eat all day. I mean, they could store food all day. And this morning, my God. Buck was like a lovey dovey. You know what's funny? Because yesterday for dinner time, he didn't want he didn't want me hand feeding him because I guess he smelled the scent. He picked up the scent of like you know all the people maybe that I was around, and he was unfamiliar with the scent. But he will not accept like once I came back from the party, the birthday party, and I went to, like to call him for, to feed him dinner. He wouldn't eat, take any like accept any of the apples from my hand. But once I put them all in his corn bucket, he ate them. But you see like. Then last night, of course, I end up like showering, of course, and everything because I wash all the everybody's scents over me. And then this morning, he's acting back to normal. Not that he was acting unnormal yesterday. It's just, you know, he picked up scents that he was probably like, uh-uh, I don't know these people. Like, she smells like she's been around a lot of people. Like, uh-uh. It's crazy. Deers have a very strong, strong, probably like, sense of smell like my god like they could pick up like other people's scent on you like you know they could probably pick up so many scents like on top of scents it's crazy again alvin is right by my feet and now there's gonna be a fight that's not alvin alvin i think 
Alvin is over here. I get confused. Maybe that is Alvin. Guys, I get confused. Because the chipmunks, they have the same exact stripes. Like, you know, they have nothing that tells them apart. For example, like, let's say if there was another buck hanging out in here with him and had the same color hair as him, I would be able to tell the difference just because buck has, like, you know, little ungrown hairs in certain areas. Like, you know, he has like, little marks on him that I'll be able to tell that that's buck. But with the chipmunks, it's hard. The only way I could tell who's Alvin is when they take their food home. <laughs> when they take their food home, because I know Alvin, he lives somewhere around there. He always just like jumps right in there. And the other chipmunk lives to the right. I like with squirrels, chipmunks. I know there is squirrel people out there that love squirrels and they'll sit there and feed just the squirrels and stuff and they'll be friends with the squirrels. But how can you tell them apart, you know? Cause I'm sure they named them. And look at Alvin coming so close to my feet right now. Really? I don't have nothing for you, baby. I gave you everything. I gave him so many peanuts. They just want the peanuts just to stock them, like to store them in their little stockpile. That's why they want peanuts. Cause I never see the chipmunks actually eating them. They just fill up their cheeks and bring it home. I think Buck is full now. Now pretty soon you're gonna see Alvin climbing up that bucket. Or one of the chipmunks, yep, you see? It's already started. You see, once Buck leaves, that's what happens. They dive right in. But I know Buck is not done because he didn't, I feel like he didn't nibble a lot of corn and usually he'll do the back and forth. Like now he's probably going to go take a little mini walk and then turn around and come back. Well, it's so nice out. It's just really hot, but you know what? It's summer, so pickies can't be choosy, you know? Like we are, like I always want this summer to come. So now summer's here. I can't complain that I'm hot, but it is like a little muggy out, but it's okay because Inside, I have the AC running, so once I open my door and get in my house, it's gonna be like, whoo, like I'm walking into like a refrigerator. Not a freezer, because I don't like when my house is like ice, ice cold. My husband likes that feeling, like the ice cold house, like with the AC pumping, like really like, oh my God, this oh. No fighting, there's two blue jays now, fighting above me. See, now Buck is turning around, coming back. What are you doing? You're just hanging out? Now he's gonna stop foraging. That's another thing I notice he does when he's done eating his corn and all the stuff I give him. He starts foraging. That's why deers, I think, will never lose the habit of foraging unless they're raised from maybe when they're babies, like, you know, all the way to grown ups, and the person is not, doesn't have a lot of, like, greens around let's say for the deer to eat then i would picture a deer not foraging but buck he forages all day long even though i come out and give him goodies twice a day he still forages on his own thank god and there's so much of greenery over here that he loves to eat like especially like where he is right now he's eating the greenery but right now where from what he's eating is probably the trimmings that we threw over because we threw so many trimming trimmings and he loves the trimmings, the ones, I'm trying to keep my phone, hold on guys. I'm trying to keep it still. Not that. The tr There's like the pine trees trimmings like this. The trimmings from this tree, for some reason he loves to eat that tree right there. Which I was shocked. I was very shocked. I was like, wow, I'm surprised he likes that tree. Like it's not like soft, you know, it's like a pine tree. It's not like soft leaves or anything. Like the ones like, like grass or anything like that's why buck like he likes the weirdest things and buck doesn't like lettuce long time ago i tried to give him lettuce i remember me and my father-in-law we used to throw it in there he will not eat it he will not eat it only the squirrels will like take pieces from it and run around and like you would see the squirrels eating it I feel like the squirrels, they're kind of like raccoons. Like they'll eat anything you throw there. Anything, no matter if it's like fruit, vegetable, or like, you know, stuff like that, they'll eat anything. But then certain animals are picky. Like I noticed the bunny doesn't eat everything I throw. Oh, look at these two fighting. Look at these two fighting. Oh, damn it, I missed it. I want to show you. 
They were just fighting before. Two chipmunks were chasing each other. Ah, oh, they're so funny. Hold on, guys. I know. Guys, really? Right by my feet. I'm sorry if I'm moving the phone. I'm trying to keep it still. It's just they keep running by my feet. And I don't, I, oh my God, now they're about to fight in front of me. Please don't. Well, guys, there's one there. You see? I'm trying to get it on video. Now there's one there. And now they're going to fight. The other one's going to chase him away. I can't tell if that's Alvin or if that's the other one. Look, I can't tell which one is Alvin. Then there's one over here. <laughs> but I'm sorry if I'm shaking the phone a lot. I did have two cups of coffee this morning, so I'm like, like, whoo. I'm up there like Kuiper. And now I'm starting to settle down. It's because those chickmunks, when they run on my feet, I get nervous. You know what I get nervous for? I don't know if chickmunks would do it, but I get nervous like, what if they climb my leg? <laughs> And they start like running around like on top of me or something. That's, I'm not gonna, I would jump, you know? I would be like, what the heck? So I don't know if that would happen, but that's why I get nervous. And I start like moving the phone a lot and stuff. Cause I'm, you know what it is? I have the phone on buck, but I'm looking down the whole time. I'm talking to you guys. I'm looking down and all around me. Because then you have these two that I'm trying to show you. But they're so fast. I can't, <sighs> sucks. I want to show you guys the way they chase each other. It's really, the chickmunks are quick. Watch, let me see if I can get it. Okay, right there. Now, you see they're so quick, I can't keep up with them. Now, I'm assuming, I don't know if that's Alvin, or I don't know if the other chickmunks, like, do they all dive in there? I don't know. I think Buck might be leaving. Well, let me sit down. But I'm gonna be getting off now. I'm gonna go put more water in Buck's bucket. Oh my God, is he still in there? Are you still in there? Out, good boy. Okay, he got out. He got out of the bucket. Oh God, I gotta put more water. Okay, now the water's full. So I cleaned Buck's water bucket because I know the raccoons were definitely in there last night. Now he's foraging over there. I will be back later with another video up again by my feet. See so guys, you see like, it's going so close. <laughs> Ready to go. They literally just like run around my feet. And then I wanna sit down and get comfortable and they're running around me. And I don't want them fighting, like running in circles around me. <laughs> that would be funny. I'm sure that would be a good video. That would be a funny video, but. You never know. One day that could happen. You guys will <laughs> see like either me screaming or jumping up and down. And then I'll eventually end up recording myself and the animals because I'll be like swinging the phone because I'll be scared like if something jumps on me. I think Buck left. Buck, you left already? Yeah, he's already like halfway down that route. All right, everyone. I'll be back later with another video. I'm sorry I was moving the phone around so much. There's so much things going on, like, you know, right by my feet. So it was hard for me to like, I had the camera on Buck. I was trying to keep it still on Buck, but you know what it was? My nerves got the best of me. And I see the little ones, you know, running around my feet and stuff. And I'm like, oh God, so sorry for that. But I will be back later with another video, with the dinner video. Ooh, today for Buck's dinner video, I want to try carrots, like the big carrots, the long carrots with the root and stuff. I want to try to give him one of those and I'm hoping, praying that he likes it because he never liked the mini organic ones, baby carrots. He doesn't like the baby carrots. I tried it already. So now I'll try the big carrot. Maybe it tastes better to him. I don't know. We're going to try the big one. I think Buck is coming back because he turned around. Yeah, he's coming back. I never know with him. I'm telling you, never know. Okay, he's taking a shortcut. You taking a shortcut coming to me? Yeah, he's gonna go down the hill and climb back up. Watch to come back here. That's a new thing too that he does. When he could just walk around. He's so funny. But uh, I will be back later for Buck's dinner video. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him. You guys just noticed that? He just ran. That was so cute. 
You're funny, Buck. Are you hyper? I think somebody's in a really good mood. Unless mosquitoes are messing with him. I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, yeah, baby. Come here, Buck. Come here. You have mosquitoes on you. Come here. All right, everyone. I'm going to spray him, and I'm going to go. Ciao for now.